everyone, so I know a lot of old players aren't too happy with the amount of changes in Maple Story. Trust me, I felt the same way too, but after playing for the past few weeks, I discovered a lot of updates that are actually pretty cool. Number one, every time you create a character over level 30, you get a character card that gives you bonus stats depending on your class and level. And once you have a full deck of three, you gain another set bonus that applies to all characters in the same world. Number two, there's so many new classes in Maple Story, including Mercedes, Phantom, Luminous, Shade, Kana, and others like Beast Tamer and Zero that are only available for a limited time. Number 3. Monsters now spawn extremely fast, and on top of that, the new class, Kana, has the unique ability to decrease the spawn time of monsters, so grinding is a lot faster. There's no more need for players to stay CC because the mount will never be empty, and similar to Bishops, Kana is very popular in parties. Number 4. The buddy list is now account bounded, so when you add a friend, you're automatically friends with their other characters. And if you want to expand your buddy list, the price is now 50k instead of 200. Number 5. In the cash shop, you can now buy permanent NX items through surprise boxes. These items are tradable unless you equip it and can be sold anywhere between 10 mil to 10 bill. You can also buy mezzo boxes that contain the NX elf and lasting for 7 days. Number 6. Aside from scrolling items, you can unlock hidden potentials and gain significant boots and stats by using the magnifying glass. The highest grade can give up to plus 30% to all stats or even weapon attack. Number 7. You now have the option to save up to three different hairstyles and faces. All you have to do is click Salon in the equipment tab and hit save. And if you want to change it back to the way it was before, just select the style you want, click change and pay 100k. Number 8. For important quests, there's no need to travel to an NPC anymore because it pops up as a light bulb on the side of your screen. The same goes for the yellow star which includes all the events such as the 10th maple anniversary that's happening right now. You can get a cute mushroom mount and chair from it as well as weapons that scale with your level. Number 9. Further down on the sidebar, there's a guide called Talks Know How that teaches new players basic things about the game, and as you level up, more advanced concepts are introduced. By clearing these tips, you can gain free NX items such as a ducky hat, a VIP haircut coupon, and more importantly, if you follow all the recommended quests as you level, you can gain a free level jump from 46 to 50 by clicking to next level in Talks Guide. Number 10. The third job advancement is now level 60 instead of 70, and the fourth job advancement is now level 100 instead of 120. Also, for some classes, you don't have to complete a trial to do the job advancement anymore. I still remember being that level 30 wizard trying to kill horned mushrooms and evil eyes to collect marbles, but those days are gone and over. Number 11. When you reach level 50, doing party quests is the best way to level. From doing one Ludi PQ run, you can gain 40 to 70%, and once you reach level 70, the Romeo and Juliet party quest is available where you can gain up to 10 levels in 20 minutes. Number 12. When you kill a significant amount of monsters in the map within 20 levels from you, a giant version of it will appear known as an elite monster. After you kill 15 to 20 of the elite monsters, an elite boss will appear where you can gain various items and scrolls worth up to 100 mil. Number 13. Traveling in the Maple World is now extremely easy. In most towns, there's a multi-dimensional portal that can bring you to special maps like Party Quest Entry, Event Hall, and Friend Story. With Quick Move located under the mini-map, you can directly transport to the nearest multi-dimensional portal, Intercontinental Station, and Free Market. The Pantheon portal located at the 6-5 Crossway allows you to teleport to any town in the Maple World, so it's a great way to save time without boarding a ship. Lastly, players can now move directly to a boss by either queuing up individually or as a party. Number 14. Bossing in Maple Story has significantly changed in difficulty. The pre-quests for most bosses have either been removed or made easier, so players are able to challenge them without any help or funding. Daily boss runs are almost a must for all players over 130, and you can challenge Zatgum, Magnus, Horntail, Hilla, and more. Number 15. The Crying Face, aka F4, got moved to F5 because apparently back then, when players tried to jump and cry at the same time, they would accidentally close their game. <laughs> when I saw this change, I was like, and immediately changed it back to the way it was before because it just didn't feel right to me. So there's my list of 15 updates for any returning players. Let me know what you guys think about all these changes in Maple Stories and which ones you like or don't like in the comment sections below. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!